Hi, I'm going to show you how I like to finish uh, my flat panel items when I... This is the technique I like to use when I do a chain cast on followed by a row of e-wrap and doing a slip stitch edge, which I talked about in one of my other videos, and that helps get this nice braided looking effect. So this is how I like to end my flat panels. Now I started with a, a chain cast on and an e-wrap. I find that I like to go back if I've done a, one roll of pearl, if I have ended on a roll of pearl, like if I'm doing garter, I find that I think it looks more even if I go back and do a roll of e-wrap first. And I'm doing a slip stitch edge, so um, the first peg here, I'm not, I'm skipping. And then I'm going to e-wrap each peg. It's in the loom that you've, you've um, cast on, and I have 10 here. You want to make sure you bring them all over. And like I've mentioned in some of my other videos, um, the very last peg, I prefer to do a, a new wrap where you just lay the yarn in front. And kind of wrap it around to the back and then knit over and now your yarn is ready in this case to start binding off so for the basic bind off um, when I do it with a slip stitch edge what I do is I e-wrap the second pig and you want to make sure you keep your your stitches loose now you bring this stitch over to the first peg in your row and you bring the bottom stitch up over the top moving and then move that stitch over to peg two. The next peg, and like I said, you don't want to pull too hard because you want to have a loose edge. The next peg then, you do the same thing, you e-wrap knit over, bring the stitch that you just knit over to the stitch that we had moved before, bring the bottom stitch up over the top, take that stitch and move it over to that empty peg. E-wrapping the next peg, bringing it over, working the bottom loop over the top, moving that stitch to the empty peg. And you keep doing this until you have one peg left on your loom. And then I will show you how we bind that off. Or finish that last off. I'm gonna go ahead and go, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and, and and continue with the bind off here, um, just to speed things up. And then I will. There'll be one peg remaining. And I'll show you how I finish that edge and the comparison of the cast on and the cast off. Okay, I'm now have come to my. I have two stitches on remaining. I'm e-wrapping the last one just like before and then I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to again knit over so one stitch remains and now I'm simply going to cut my tail end of my yarn leaving enough that I can weave in and secure any. When I take my yarn off my loom, my last pig, I'm going to bring that last stitch up through my working yarn that I cut the tail end. I'm going to bring it up through that last pig 
and then remove it and pull tight and then all you need to do is take your tapestry needle take your tail ends weave them through the stitches so that they're not noticeable and trim them do that on the opposite side and with stitches that you're not going to be able to see and this was my bind off row using the basic bind off and this was my cast on row and as you can see they are very similar in resemblance. I use the chain cast on and I use my basic bind off. And actually this I probably should have gone down the other way when I I'm gonna try to see if <laughs> the nice thing is you can usually futz around with your your bind off so that you can get it exactly how you want. So that is the basic bind off, which looks very good with the chain cast on if I can just figure out I want my there we go thanks for joining me hope this helped have a great day